Welcome to Hack5, my name is Darren Kitchen. It's your weekly dose of techno lesson. I feel like being a little bit recursive today. I'm in the kitchen. I'm the first one here at the office. It's a little echoey back there. I'll make my way to the studio. And I thought I would take the opportunity to, whoa. It got mossy in here. I just want to geek out for a moment because I've been having the best couple of days recently. So yesterday I had the opportunity to hang out with like longtime Hack5 contributor, fan, friend, Frozen Java, aka Newbie on the forums, who's responsible for Evil Portal on the Wi-Fi Pineapple. And I can't tell you like how absolutely rewarding it is to be able to get a beer with friends and fans of the show like that now that we're in downtown Oakland just off Barton. We're like, yeah, you're here for a conference, come on down. Like we've had so many cool people show up in the last few uh, weeks, months, like, Dark Matter and, and just, just the MG and so many cool folks. It's really dark in here. Um, I'm gonna bleep this out so I don't accidentally set yours off. Okay, turn on the Hack 5 lights. Sure, turning three things on. All right, that's a little bit better, I think. So I'm hanging with Newbie the other day and he's telling me this story about how, you know, he got into hacking and he's in high school and he's watching Hack 5 and of course he gets singled out as the hacker, you know, the, the witch hunt that is the hacker when anything goes wrong and then suddenly fingers are pointed at you and the hypocrisy of the whole American high school or a whole school system where you're, you're taught like, you know, due process and this wonderful system of government that we have that does not apply when you're in school because there is no due process and, and it is judge, jury, and executioner all in one. And it's like, it just reminds me how much things have changed and how little things have changed. And it's sad to see that. And I don't have like a wonderful message of heartwarmingness to bestow upon you in that regard, other than to say that I sympathize. I was there too. I remember being, you know, ridiculed because I mean, the stuff we were doing was harmless. You weren't gonna get busted by the CFAA for doing a net send on a Windows NT box. But at the same time, it's like, it's it feels a little bit like Salem Witch Trials or something when like suddenly like, oh, you might know something. You might know how to do something we don't know how to do. We're scared of technology and you understand technology. So anyway, I'm sure you have similar stories of your own. And I'd love to get more into it with him. In fact, we should have him on the program. And speaking of people that we're having on the program, oh my God, I'm so excited. We should probably light this up. Boop, boop, boop. There we go. Now it's all lit and beautiful. We're having Glitch on next week. I'm fanboying out so much, I can't believe it. Glitch is coming to this studio to show us the amazing Project Cuckoo and other drone stuff that he's been working on. I've been like a fan of his for years and it's so exciting to be able to have him on. So many other great things are happening. Um, so not your typical episode, just me really fanboying out about amazing fans that I've gotten to meet, which is like the coolest part of doing Hack 5. So anyway, fun stuff on its way. Otherwise, the, lately I've been just working on hacking the business, which isn't as fun as it may sound, but otherwise it is, it is kind of cool in its own right. I mean, it's just like most other hacks where it's basically breaking down a complex system and trying to figure out how to get what you want within the confines of the rules. And in a lot of ways that sums up a lot of hacks. Otherwise, um, it's, it's one of those. I'm wondering what's tickling your techno lust. Not like I need another hobby. But seriously though, like what's really gotten you jazzed lately? So that's my incoherent episode of the week. I hope that was fun. I'm a little dizzy. <laughs> Trust your technologist. Okay, let's see if I can walk. <laughs> Promise I'm not drunk. That, that moss, it's mossum. Domain.com has all your website needs from .com and .net domains to intuitive website builders so you can take that first step in creating your online identity. Let me tell you, there's no domain extension like a .com or a .net, or if you want to brand yourself, Domain.com has over 300 domain extensions like .club and .space. These guys are huge fans of Hack5. They're affordable, reliable. We've been using them for years. They've got all the tools you need to share your ideas with the world. And because they're such big fans, they are hooking you up with 15% off their already affordable prices. So get domain names and web hosting and email, and just be sure to use that coupon code HAK5. So when you think domain names, think domain.com.